Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to design gravity steel beams in the RAM Structural System RAM Steel Beam Design Module. Over the next series of videos, you'll learn how to design some gravity steel beams, which will include the process of entering the gravity beam design criteria, assigning any deflection criteria, and then designing the gravity beams and reviewing the results. In this video, you will learn how to assign alternate deflection criteria in the RAM steel beam design module. This will include the process of setting up your alternate deflection criteria through the criteria menu and also assigning this deflection criteria to particular steel gravity beams in the design module. The first process we will show you is how to set up your deflection criteria. In the RAM steel beam design module, you will go up to your criteria menu and select the deflection criteria option. In the deflection criteria dialog, you will notice that some default deflection criteria has already been provided, which will be used for your composite and your non-composite design of gravity steel members. You can customize this criteria as required for your particular project. If, however, you would like a certain selection of members to be designed with a different deflection criteria, you can also create other criteria through this dialog. For this exercise, we will be creating some alternate deflection criteria requirements for members that we're going to be supporting some masonry. To create a new deflection, we will go ahead and click on the Add button and then enter the appropriate values for our alternate deflection criteria, starting with the name of this criteria, and we will call it masonry support for this exercise. We will then go through and specify any requirements that we want to be used for considering the members that we're eventually going to assign this criteria to. For this exercise, I'm going to say that a, for composite members, I want to have a total L over D ratio of 600 and a total deflection allowed of 0 0.3 inches. And it will use this criteria when designing those particular members. Now you can add as many pieces of deflection criteria that are going to be needed for your particular model. Once you enter all of your deflection criteria, we can go ahead and click OK. And now we are ready to assign this deflection criteria to the model. To assign the deflection criteria, we must first select the appropriate layout from the layout pull down menu. And we will select the third floor layout. To assign the deflection criteria, we will go up to our toolbar and in our assign options, we will click on our deflection criteria icon. Here we can select either the default or the masonry support criteria. Now by default, everything has automatically been assigned the default criteria. To assign our masonry support criteria, we will highlight it in this dialog and then click on our single button and then select the members that you want to use this other criteria for. When I select the members, you will notice that they will turn to white instead of your traditional beam color. After you're done assigning your criteria, we can go ahead and save the model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.